Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Rivals! And in this episode of our season as Chase Elliott, driver of the number 9 Kelly Blue Book Chevrolet, we're going to Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. It's the Enjoy Illinois 300. This track is so boring. I watched the cup race here last year. It was a boring race. The only thing I remember was some rivalry dispute between Chase Elliott, Chastain, and Denny Hamlin. But the racing, no, not much. Uh, we finished sixth at the Coca Cola 600. We were just constantly battling throughout the top five, getting back to the field because of poorly timed cautions and all that. But here's how the standings are after that race 26 points. I think we went into last weekend with like a 31 point lead, so we made it like a net loss of five points. We gained some in one race and lose a bunch in another. But yeah, Denny Hamlin is just keeping us honest. And we've got Bill Elliott, who's had some good runs and some bad runs. He won the Coca Cola 600. This is ridiculous. He's not supposed to be here. Uh, William Byron's got two wins right now, and all your winners are at the top of the table, so that's pretty cool. I pushed Alex Bowman to his win at Talladega. Uh, Kyle Larson, I think he had an alright finish at Charlotte, and now he's 11th in the standings. He's right behind Logano and Chastain, and Truex, so I mean, he could pass three guys in one race if he just runs well enough. Um, here's the settings we're going to use for the race. And they got the game's theme song playing in the background, that's nice. 105 difficulty, um, full damage, DNFs are on, 25% race length, four times wear, less wear, more grip, relaxed yellows, the stage is wrong. Um, I don't think I actually have any plans of qualifying here at Gateway because I don't think this track is that challenging. I just want to pass some cards, try to gain some points that way. Uh, we're going to have normal skill range, but then expand the starting spread because I want this race to be you know, mildly challenging, but also it's... I want it to be as boring as it is in real life. And also, no mechanical failures, because this track is just that boring. So, well, I said it's normal, not frequent. Welcome to beautiful Madison, Illinois, for some short track racing on this 1.25 mile track. I'm Alex Hayden at Worldwide Technology Raceway. This track features two differently shaped and banked turns, making it a unique challenge. I have no idea how long I was waiting at that screen, but I had to go put my pizza in the oven. It's going to be done in like 16 minutes. So when it beeps, I'll go over there and get it in 15 minutes. So, no, no practice. And no qualifying. So where am I starting? 37th. Three cars got sent to the tail of the field. Careful. Still there. Car high here. Careful. And there goes my stage. Stop! What the fuck? Just start over the goddamn race. With 2022 being the inaugural event for the Cup Series, it looks like these drivers and teams are ready to fire them up. Let's go racing. So yeah, JG Illy crashed during qualifying. Hamlin had an unapproved body modification during qualifying. Then Chase Briscoe is starting at the back because of a transmission thing before the race. So, this car is just weird. This has been my second attempt at trying to drive this track. I didn't have that much of a hard time driving it the first time the game came out. I don't know. I feel like the car is turning down the track on its own right now. What is that? I don't remember it doing that. What the hell is going on? Is this set up defunct or something? It's so loose. Aren't I driving just a default setup? Why is it so loose? What am I supposed to do about that? I don't... I'm, I'm not familiar with this territory of having a hard time just driving this track. It was so damn simple in every game prior. I was going to ask the question earlier if they just copied over the data from Heat 2, 3, 4, and 5 to put this in the game, or if they just made a whole brand new one considering it's motorsport games. I wouldn't expect them to actually do something that's not necessary. They already had everything they needed. Maybe they changed the, the look of the track, the colors, and sponsors on the wall, but, yeah. You know. Ugh, damn it, Kinsit. Why is Kinsit back here? Hamlin started at the back. He ain't starting too well this time. I mean, it turns, but it's also Got loose. I don't know why it's loose. Why? No pressure this default setup usually isn't all that loose in the first place. But it's doing this weird leaning thing where it feels like it's leaning to the left. Like, that. Why does my car feel like it's doing that? I want to pass the cars, but there's nowhere to pass them. They're taking up both the passing lanes. I gotta make a third lane? I don't want to do that. 
Yeah, is my, is my card... It's turning to the left in the straightaway. Why is it doing that? Is that a controller problem? Is that the setup really stupid? I'm not used to it, that even happening in heat games. The card is turning on its own. Ugh. I'm trying to stay above the damn... The curbing. Oh, man, we're slow in the straights right now. What is all that about? He just drove right past me down the straightaway. Ugh, and it's loose. I'm going to have to push up into you because I don't want to get loose and spin out. So I'm going to go up the track instead. I feel like that's all I can do. I'm, I have to keep on jerking the car to the right so I don't turn left and hit the guy underneath me. I guess I'm going to pass these guys on the outside. They're not letting me on the bottom. This is so weird. This race is just weird. Oh my god, almost hit the wall. Everything about this is just so fucked. This feels so awkward. I was not expecting this. I thought this would just be a normal race at a, a boring track. I'm so loose. And I'm trying to feel it out. And I'm stuck against the wall. That I'm trying to hit the cars next to me, so instead I just hit the wall. I should just hit the fucking cars next to me. Fuck the cars next to me. Um, I could use some track position instead of being at the back, but no, I didn't try to get that. As it is, Denny Hamlin already starts the back anyway, so that's kind of an equalizer. They're so fast down the straightaways. I mean, not this straightaway, not the other one. There's Denny Hamlin. I feel like this car is just awful. Everything about this car is just awful with this track. What did they do to it? What is happening? Why can't you just go straight and turn normal? No, Hamlin. No. I'm not having that. I did turn off the mirror the first time I tried doing this. Where it all went to shit. Oh my god, I just want to get on the throttle. Simple, regular getting on of the throttling. And then just draft. And, and catch people and make moves. But no, this car is driving stupid. I need a massive wedge adjustment or something. Just so that this car isn't so out of freaking control. Oh boy. Well, the right rear is taking some. I feel like none of this is really sticking out as abnormal as far as the tire wear. It just feels like the car is driving so bad. It's weird when this game first came out, I didn't really have any issue actually driving Chase Briscoe's car or whatever over here. Or Brad Keselowski. I don't know who I was driving whenever I did that video. But everything felt quite normal. It don't feel normal anymore. You got a damn gnat flying around the room. It's kind of distracting and pissing me off. Oh, I'm trying to take it easy on the looseness. I can feel it. I can see it. Heck, you can hear it. I mean, we are pretty damn fast still. So there's that. Whenever I get loose in three and four, it kind of makes for a shitty straightaway. They always pull away down the straightaway. I don't know. This, this is all in balance. I don't... The, the track that in I and I, whatever file... For this game has got to be just whack compared to what it was in the previous Heat games because this just just feels stupid. It looks stupid. And the way they're racing, I mean, see, we've got normal speeds on the straightaways. I'm a little bit faster. Go down the next straightaway, they're going to pull away. I'm trying to pass you, Kindred, but there's only, there's just two lanes and y'all are three wide. I don't have anywhere to go and I keep getting loose. So I have to keep on getting off the gas and fucking around. And plus, my car has to shift gears and they just don't. Last lap of the stage. Hamlin's grinding the wall. Oh! Keslowski. Out. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, Keslowski. That's the second time you've done that to me on this fucking game. Nice job driving that stage, driver. Yeah, nice job driving. Nice, yeah, whatever. I'm pissed off. I don't like racing this track. I, this feels stupid. I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate this. I got some shit to do. I've, I've got one second repairs. I thought I had more than that. Well, no, and I'm fixing that right now. Um, yeah, get the tires, get the fuel. Wedge, we're going to add one and a half rounds of wedge. There's Ross Chastain in his moose car. That's a nice paint scheme. The new one is not as good as that one. This one's got more red mixed in with the black. So am I getting a good start this time? I'm trying to. Okay, we do have 21 laps in the second stage. So yeah, that first stage was really short. I felt like it was. So am I loose? Am I tight now? What am I? Am I, I just want to be better. I want to get more than what I want out of this car. Because it is expanded starting spread. They're spreading out a little bit more than it was compressed. 
I'm trying to beat Denny Hamlin, but there's cars in front of me. Dude, I fucking hate cars. I hate all these fucking cars I gotta race. Eric Jones, hold your potato. God damn. Man, I just want this race to be over now. I'm hating driving this thing. Everyone's driving up against the wall. I don't like how the car drives. I don't like how the AI are programmed down uh, the front straightaway. I don't like a lot of shit about this. If I'm correct, uh, Kyle Busch drove a Snickers car in this race in real life. He is just driving Eminem's car. Kyle Busch doesn't have any paint scheme in this game. This game is lame. Do, 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 do. Okay, up to 12. Now we're starting to get attention to reach for some stage points. I don't think we're one of the fastest guys on the track. I mean, Denny Hamlin's faster than us, but he had to start at the back of the field. He's got a little traffic still to get through. Damn. They even mashed them brakes in the turn one right there. I've seen them tire smoke. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're fine down the back straight away. Careful. Still there. Aside from the fact that I keep on having to shift gears, and it's killing my straightaway speed. Yeah, I'm going to send it on Reddick. Yeah, I'm definitely less loose now. But it, it's lingering there. It's just nothing too rough. Bill Elliott is trying to go back to back. Third win of the season. It's so stupid. So I guess Kyle Larson was driving his Valvoline car in this race in 2022 because he's driving it in this race right now. I think Keselowski might be out of the race because he was like the one guy I saw that had uh, mechanical issues of any kind. The last stage, and there's one car on pit road. Nice big run off of turn four. I grabbed the curbing and I didn't get loose. Another race where Bell is driving his Ream car. I prefer his Ream car over his DeWalt car, even though both are really cool in this season. Damn. They're not spreading out. Why are they not spreading out? I mean, sure, it's not uh, narrow skill range, but it is normal. We're seeing more passing and better racing here than they did in real life. I'm trying to enjoy it, but goddamn, off an awful start with the setup being total low. shit. I was not ready for that. No I thought default was fine because of that video I did, racing this track for the first time. Um, there's some thumbnails like Eric Jones in it. I started off the video by going to Indianapolis Road Course. Come on. Speaking of Indianapolis Road Course, that race has got to be coming up at some point in the season pretty soon. And we have a caution. Because I, I guess someone blew up, wrecked. It is Matt Kinsit. He's not supposed to be running this season, but he is. Well, I'm not pitting, and no one else around is pitting. This gives us track position at a restart. We were all right at the last restart. If I can clear Alex Bowman, that's like one spot I get to make up out of this. He's got his nose ahead of mine. Come on. I'm trying to beat him. Damn it. Okay, got it. And I didn't run over Kevin Harvick. Oh, it's getting loose again. I'm trying to turn. I'm getting tight and loose. This is such a awkward, shitty setup. Don't like it. So it's been 15 minutes. <laughs> my, my pizza's done uh, cooking. Or it's going to be done in a minute. That beep, I said it like a minute early. That way I would know to head on over there within the next few seconds. Well, that's not going anywhere. It's a triple meat pizza. It's really freaking hot, so I I kind of can't eat it right now. I'll put it in my lap, and hopefully it won't burn a hole through my pants. Okay, we're back racing again. 12 laps to go in the stage. Oh, my God. I wasn't ready for that. Come to my inside. Oh, Bowen's still here. Larson's dropping back a little bit. We're fine down the straightaway, and then we ship. It's like, well, why don't they do that? Still there. Nothing really changes with them. We are competent in this race, but goddamn. Bottom looks good. I, the car is pretty awkward to drive. I'm trying to side draft Kurt Busch. It's not working because my shift is worse than the side draft I do to him. Still there. I'm going to send it on him, and I didn't get him. All clear. Gas it up off the corner, and we're fifth. Nice big runoff. I mean, I'm trying to slowly move down the track so I can get underneath them, but if I turn too fast, I might, you know, jerk the car stupidly. So I could do that. 
And there he goes into the wall. What if didn't like that? That's for sure. Oh, this freaking setup sucks to drive this guy. This is just wanky. This is doinky. It, and I'm missing the freaking corner because I'm afraid to steer all the way. All you can do in this game is steer all the way. You can't steer a little bit. You either steer all the way or you don't steer at all. <laughs> not not the greatest idea to port something over to a console where they have just like no smoothness on the analog sticks like they do on other consoles. Still there. Okay, got to Harvick, who was leading earlier. But now it's just the Bill Elliott show. It's about to be the Elliott and Elliott show. Stay low here. Like usual this season. And Hamlin, he's taking a while to get to the field, or maybe he just stalled out and like he's reaches his peak position in the field. Hey, Come on! It's so hard to pass somebody here. God damn. Still easier than in real life. Got quite a few laps after this. Gotta be uh, green flag stops, hey, right? Yeah. With eight laps left on fuel. Seven right, now. And we're coming to like eight to go in the stage. Then wouldn't us having pit under caution have benefited us? Why did that? Why did we not do that? I don't get that. No one was pitting, even though it definitely would have helped. I mean, we're just one lap short right now. Now I think I can pass a lot of cars in that final long green flag run, and I want to get a bunch of stage points. I don't know where Denny Hamlin is, but I'm not seeing it on the leaderboard. And I think we're all just kind of hoping for a caution just before the end. That way we can pit under the caution instead of under the green flag. Ugh, it's loose, and I can't pass people. There goes the shift, making me lose time in the straightaway. I'm stuck to the wall. Of course I am. I'm trying to get a nice big arc, and instead I just get stuck to the wall. I didn't even hit the wall. Like, there's an empty space right there that's part of it. Invisible barriers. I lose time in the front straightaway, then I gain it back in this one, because that shift is less damaging in this one. It still is, but still there. just so fast in the corners. I can get great big runs off, but you're in the way. You're in the way of my arc. Now we're going to do it all over again. See the way? They don't shift. It's like they're in fifth gear the whole time. And they get a bunch of power at the bottom of the gear, too. So we're going to get a big old run right here. Someone is pulling onto the track over there. Who's that and why? What's going on? Some white and black car. Is that Almarola? No what's he doing? What's, what's even going on? Also, yeah, Byron is having a good race. Larson's having a good race. Bowman, he was doing all right, too. As long as no one has, no one has like, mechanical issues or anything like that, you can all finish top ten. I just bump and ran Bill Elliott. But, I mean, you're not supposed to be here anyway. Yeah. We hit one lap sometime this lap. I'm slowly catching Eric Amarola. Whatever happened to him, he'd be running really well if it didn't. I keep on missing turn one now. I don't have anyone to help me judge the corner. I need someone to race so I can actually make the corners properly, unfortunately. Okay, I would run out of gas, like, right around here next lap if I didn't pit now. So, it's like, that's what we have to do. I don't know if they actually use that part of the track down there to get on pit road. Got a car coming high I'd now. do this. Yeah, they do. Do that. Ow! Hey, you're Why? I'm, I'm, out of, I'm out of gas. Well, I... I don't know, I, I hit, got to the line, and then we just kept on going, rolling slowly. Now they're hitting my car. I got a second of damage that I don't want to repair right now. Let's just get a splash of fuel. I want to win this stage. And I'm, I'm going to eat my pizza. Oh, shit. What am I doing? I knew it was going to be a fast stop. I still took my time to eat pizza anyways. Last lap this time by. Yeah. And oh, we got some guys going really slow over here. People that just didn't pit. Why not pit? What the fuck? Harvick is just now heading down pit road. That car ahead of you is pitting. Oh my car god. What is, what is you? Careful. What are you people? What was the plan here? To not pit at all. Like they didn't try pitting under the caution. Well, I thought there was something weird about that. Whenever they would have helped me make it to the end of the stage, that's why I didn't. It's because they didn't. No point that stage. Wait, right, why did I finish 21st? I haven't finished the stage yet. But then who the fuck won it? Is there a caution? What the heck? 
Man, I don't know what the hell just happened. Matt Kenseth, he fucking wrecked or something. Now he gets to win it. I just got screwed out of stage points. Again, and again, and again, and again. Always. Oh, um, I'm, I've fucking had it. I've had it. I'm 25th. Great. I thought I'd be last or some shit. I don't, I don't understand what's going on anymore. I keep on getting screwed out of stage points in all these damn races. I did the exact right strategy, took just a splash of fuel, everyone was taking their pit stops, and then it just ended also. Be careful. Still there. It's like, how, how did they manage to go a little bit further than me whenever no one pit under that caution and I was one lap short? They couldn't have gone another lap? Well, Still there. I climb way back to the field, try to win this thing, coming up on 20 to go. Which means another green flag pit stop. If the game will just let that happen. To turn off all these mechanical failures and all kinds of shit and whatever, but then in the end, regardless, we s still wind up having some freaking caution for wreckage. Stay low. That is a big crash over there. Hamlin involved, turn three and four, and then Hamlin's just going down the track. Okay, well I'm gonna take a pit stop. I don't have, I got another second of damage, and I never hit anything. Okay, need another bite of my pizza. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Drive safe, be smart, keep your head on straight. Drive safe, be smart, keep your head on straight. You ready? I'm saying way too many fucking things. Way too many cues for that crew chief. Mm -hmm. Eat my pizza. Mm. 60 to go. Oh my god, Timmy Hill, please right, stop spinning out on your own. He did that the freaking first time I tried doing this race. Like the first damn lap. Is he alright? I, I didn't see him back there. So, pretty much restarted just as far back as he did the first time at the start of the stage. They just can't stop wrecking. They, they can't stop bringing out cautions while I'm on my way to success. Denny Hamlin, I think even though he crashed and all that, he went out there and fixed his, his damage, and he, he's still top ten. Yeah, I see. I see Denny Hamlin. He's freaking top ten. This game don't make no sense. No, nothing about this race is making sense. Top's covered. Stay on the bottom. It's got to be one of the shortest races of the season, though. I mean, it's already almost over, or it looks like it. God, they're freaking three wide. Three, just one car on the bottom, one car in the middle, and then you can't use the high lane. But they're doing it. and They're making it work. Oh, it's tedious. This track is tedious to move to the field at. I'll uh, get through the field and they just send me right back. I don't know if I can make it to the end or not because it's a 16 lap run or whatever. And, and we got 16 laps left and we've already run a couple laps. So, yeah, we're good to the end. And I don't think anybody else is. Is this a case where, like, they're not programmed to actually pit until they run themselves out of gas? Because that's what it looked like was happening a while ago. And possibly why someone finished the stage early and then I just got 21st out of it somehow. No, don't hit the wall. I'm just trying to get in the draft. Okay. I just pushed Chastain out the freaking way and helped him save it too. That, that was a certified Chase Elliott moment. Now Matt Kenseth is leading. This guy wrecked like out of the race or something. And now he's leading. I don't get this game. So far this race, I, I'm quite confident that Denny Hamlin has gained points in the stages and I've just not been paying attention. And then, if I don't get to the field and they throw some dumb caution bullshit, then he just winds up gaining a ton of points on me for no reason. The whole game's just working against me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think Denny Hamlin is seventh. I tried counting the cars up in front of the field. Damn it, Kyle Busch. Trying to side draft him and draft Stenhouse. I don't know how I'm still behind Stenhouse after how long we've been doing this run. Careful. Still there. Come on. Okay, nice big runoff. There we go. Still there. Bottom's free. Use and I'm drafting game. Stenhouse, so that'll help me in the straightaway. Good. Good, goody, good. And Still there. up to Bottom's 11. Clear. And I got a ways to go if I want to get to the rest of the top 10. Stay on the 
bottom right here. All right, clear all around. Still there. Still there. Looking forward here, clear outside. Bottom lane's moving. Um, um. There's a backwards Kinsis up against the wall, and Hamlin did not ever fix his damage. He's just up here and running fine. Fucking heat game logic, I swear to God. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. At least the pizza's making me feel better. So everybody's pitting. Just to get enough fuel to get the end of the race. Um... I think I would only need like a little bit of fuel. Tires fine. Don't fix damage. All right. And I gained three spots instead of just automatically being first. And also, it's a good idea to take just a little bit of fuel because there could be overtime. I don't want to not have fuel at the end of the race if there's overtime. So now we're good to the end no matter what. And we got like a whole ten laps of, or nine laps to spare. So we're here. We're ahead of Hamlin. Put the mirror on so I can see where he is. I can't actually see him right now. So he's in traffic. Good. Like that. Now the AI, they don't change their tires late in the race. Even though that would be the smart thing to do when it comes to restarts. NASCAR's restart culture that they're stuck in now. They hate. So with the AI not actually doing that, I stand just as much a chance as the AI do at this point. Look at Christopher Bell trying to go for the win on Truex. Free to go. Ugh. Now I was trying to give him a little help, a little push, but he's got it. Mmm. Gotta stay focused to make this happen. Now Truex is staying on the outside. Still there. Give him a little shove. He, what? You, are you line. just about to spin out? What, what are you doing? What was that? He just spun himself out. And now my car is getting all sideways and loose and shit. I, dude. I, all this stuff just happens without without me having anything to do with it. Like, I'm just going in the corner, he kicks out sideways, and then he just takes a hard freaking right, takes his teammate out. Well, I'm restarting from the outside. I tend to be pretty good on the outside of somebody, but this is the leader. So, I don't know, maybe he doesn't have someone in the way to check him up. I don't know if I'm going to beat him to turn one. Mm. Well, I almost did. Oh, but I'm going to get the run off. Man, this race was both too easy and just too nonsense. It's a green-white checkered. I think just like in real life, it was a green-white checkered last year. And Denny Hamlin didn't finish top five, so I think I just gained ten points out of that one. Where did Denny Hamlin finish? I don't even see him in the top ten right now. Okay, I guess we'll do a little burnout. Don't donut. Burnout. Burnout. Yeah, like, like that. Oh, and now we're in victory lane. There's the trophy. They actually modeled out a trophy for this game specifically so that, since they added this track that season. Oh, that's pretty nice. Really fun victory lane here at Gateway. And here's the post-race stats. A 32-96 was the fastest lap with Martin Trex Jr. Kevin Harvick led the most laps, leading 27. And yeah, we were on the move. We went from 37th to 1st. It's always something like that. I'm pretty much always the guy that's on the move. Unless I actually qualify. And then a tough break for William Byron, who was running well. He started 5th and then wound up finishing freaking 29th. Is that what they said? Or did they say... They said 39th. I mean, it was on the screen, but I didn't actually read it. But our DNFs were Keselowski. Yeah, I saw that. And then Byron and everyone else was just finishing a lap down. I guess that happened because they were getting caught up down during pit stops. Like the one attempt we had at green flag pit stops. And it just didn't happen. So my teammate, Kyle Larson, gets stuck 34th. William Byron, he gets crashed out hard. And then what about Alex Bowman? He was up there. Alex Bowman was up there. And he finished ninth. That could have been better. Uh, Kinsley with the stage win, even though he 
wrecked at some point. And then Harvick, of course, you know, he just ran that great of a race. He led a good third of it, I, I guess. And, yeah, that's all of that stuff. This race was just nonsense. I, I, I don't believe this race. No. Mm. We won, though. That's nice. Hmm. Mm. So, tomorrow, I'm going to Sonoma. The Sonomis. Mm -hmm. Here's the standings after that one. Okay. I I think we're going to gain points. And then Hamlin, I don't know what happened to him. He was just running top 10 with damage. Next thing you know, he finishes 29th or something. He, he barely finished on the lead lap from what I saw. So he just lost a ton of points instead. And now, we are up to a, I think that's a, a 47 point lead over our dad. Our dad. He's not supposed to be here. We got two nine cars. Freaking NASCAR 09 bullshit right now. Where it's just a bunch of nine cars. Oh, good grief. So, Bowman and Byron are still on this first page. I think Bowen might have moved forward with that run, but Harvick ran real, really well too. And Blaney, he, I think he finished up there. But Larson... This is just one step forward and two steps back. He's, he's right back down to 12th. This is so stupid. He's tied for 12th with some other freaking guy. So he's basically 13th, knowing how his next race is going to go. But uh, Chase Elliott used to be really good at road courses. We're going to Sonoma where I suck in this game. Not expecting very much from that then. We're going to use the Hooters car at Sonoma because I feel like that'd be a nice pairing. Might look good to, together just with the coloring and the lighting of the track and all that. And then we'll use the Napa car in the race after Sonoma. So, see you next time. That's that, and episode over.